Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This is the second installment of the Back to Basics series and this is going to be about an RGB LED, namely this one, and this is a surface mount one. This is actually the second time I've recorded this video because um, the first time I recorded it I meant to release it on Saturday but I recorded it and all the files were corrupt which seems to be happening an awful lot recently. Um, anyway so it's a bit annoying but yep second attempt uh, let's get on with it. Alright, so this is a very simple module really and it's very common. And the reason why it's very common is because it's so easy to use. This particular one has got three LEDs built into one little pack. Uh, RGB, it means red, green and blue. And yeah, of course this is an LED. And you power it with a certain amount of voltage and basically it causes the thing to glow, it emits light. So first thing I'm going to do is show you how the thing works. So, with an LED it has an anode and a cathode which is a plus and a minus, uh, two terminals in which you power the thing with or, or connect it to ground in, in order to finish a, a circuit, okay? But on the terminals, if I just draw this here. So this is now like zoomed in maybe 30 or 40 times. Let's say this is the LED here and we've got some wire coming off it. You have the anode and the cathode and they basically form what looks like a bridge. Um, so a bridge between the two terminals. But over here on the plates, on the plate parts of the bridge, if that makes any, any sense, they are doped the contacts are doped and they're doped with one of many different types of materials um, but the important thing is that they are doped with a p-type material or an n-type material a p or n-type material and you may have seen this sort of this this idea this concept uh, with transistors and stuff as well because you have transistors npn pnp all this sort of stuff and basically doping them with a P or an N type material um, causes a, a type of phenomenon and um, this phenomenon can be exploited in order to have different effects. I mean, and in terms of LEDs, the effect is that you can get light to emit from the actual thing itself um, by using this doping. So I said just a second ago that they can be doped with many different types of materials. Depending on the material used to dope them, that then um, determines the colour of the LED. So a certain type of doping will result in a green LED, a certain type in red, a certain type in yellow, blue, etc. So they have this doping. Right, so what actually happens here? Now, I'll be honest with you, it's fairly deep. Uh, how LEDs work is fairly deep, and I've read numerous articles, and I still don't fully understand it. But I understand the basics, okay? So that's what I'm going to do in this video. So let's say here we, we have a circuit. So we've got a, a cell on the circuit, okay? So remember that this is the LED magnified maybe 20, 30 times. It of course doesn't look anything like that in reality. But anyway, just to illustrate. So we've got the electrons, right? And electrons travel through the wire. Now if you look at videos and, and all that sort of stuff and go into in, in depth, they say that this P-type here has got holes, right? But I'm not really going to go into that too much. What I will say is this. From the negative, we have electrons which go along the wire. And when there's enough potential difference, or in other words, when there's enough voltage, enough electrical pressure, the electrons can jump over and jump over. Now, yeah, it does have to be a certain type of voltage, a certain amount of voltage, otherwise the thing won't light. If no, if no electrons can flow through there or jump across, then the LED won't light. But if there's sufficient um, electrical pressure or voltage, then it will light. Um, but you can actually give it too much voltage. I'll go into that in a minute. Anyway, so electrons go through here and basically when they jump across, when an electron jumps across here, it goes into one of the holes, which again I'm not going to go into, and then it carries on to its path, like that. 
However, when the electron jumps across here, it needs to emit a little bit of energy in order to uh, go to its destination here. And when it emits a little bit of energy to fit into there, it gets emitted in the form of a photon. So when an electron passes through, it emits a photon. So when four electrons pass, they emit four photons, and so on. And of course, if a thousand uh, go across, there's a thousand photons. And this is the base, the very, very basics of how the LED works. Anyway, so now you know the basics. Now, there's a bit more to it. I could go straight into wiring it up, um, but there's something I want to explain first. I'll just get another sheet of paper. Okay, so I'm going to draw the symbol for um, an LED. I think it's that. I'll have to check, but I think it's that. Okay, so that's a light emitting diode. And we'll have a battery across here. Um, just like that. So there's something very important about LEDs which you need to know. Now, this video is for Arduino. An Arduino is a 5 volt device, but LEDs are not usually 5 volts. This one definitely isn't, and pretty much every one that I have is not 5 volts. In fact, I don't think I've ever had a 5 volt LED. I'm sure they exist, but I think they're a bit uncommon or rare. So, if we've got an Arduino which is 5 volts, and we've got an LED, how can we power it if the LED requires a different voltage from the Arduino? Well, the issue is, because the Arduino is 5 volts, what would happen is that you connect it to the LED here, and because there's no resistance on this wire here, the voltage here would remain about 5 volts. And because there's not very much resistance here either on this part of the wire, the voltage here would be 0 volts. Which means that the whole 5 volts, or pretty much all of the 5 volts, would drop across this diode here. And what it means is the higher voltage that gets dropped, the more current can sink through the, the, um, the LED. And these LEDs are not designed to be able to cope with high amounts of current. Um, so you should not allow more than a certain amount of amperage to flow through the LED. And this particular one, I think maybe it's, it should be limited to about 20 milliamps, 20 or 30 milliamps. And I think for all of my LEDs that I've got here, they're around about that. And basically what we have to do is we have to add a resistor to it. So if we put a resistor here, or we could actually put the resistor the other side as well, but we'll put it here to keep it simple. We want to resist off an amount of voltage. And safe to say that this, or these LEDs in here, and most LEDs that I've got here are around about two and a half to three volts around about that. Now you start going more than that and they start drawing a lot of current and they burn themselves out so you need to be careful but yeah we're gonna have to add a resistor if we're using five volts. Now if we were to connect this to a three volt battery or two and a half volt battery we wouldn't need the resistor probably not but yeah in this case we do and with this being an Arduino video of course we're working with five volts we will need a resistor Okay, so I have my breadboard. I'm going to push the Arduino in, and this is an Arduino Nano, which is the one that I recommend really for people who are new to this. I've pushed the little module in, and you can see that there's B, G, R, and minus. I've got my resistors. Now I'm actually using, I think it's 110 ohms or 120 ohms or something like that. I'm just going to push those across there to bridge over this little gap here. So that's connected to the R. And then here we want to connect the next one. <coughs> if it will go in. And the next one. Just like that. Okay, so they're connected to R, G, and B across this little bridge here. Now we need a black, well, I say black wire. You don't have to have a black wire. You can have any wire you want. But I tend to use blue or black for ground. So we need to go from the minus to ground on the Arduino. So next I've got these little red wires and I'm going to connect it up using these red wires. So 
Now, if I remember rightly, there's something odd about the labeling on this little module, but you'll get it, you know. So we want R, we want R to go to D2, we want G to go to D3, and we want B to go to D4. Just like that. Now, like I said on mine, I think the labeling's wrong. I think R and G are actually the uh, reverse to the wrong way around, but whatever you want to do, uh, just wire it up. You can easily change this in code anyway. So, yeah, so far, you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is go over to, our, to the PC, uh, go to Arduino, and we'll start writing some very simple bits of code, okay? Okay, this is going to be a really simple... Uh, sketch. So we want to define R as 2, so define pin 2 as R from now on, we'll refer to it as that, then we want G and B. G is pin 3, as that, because that's how we've wired it up, and B is pin 4. Then we want to say pin mode, pin mode, R is going to be an output, because they are outputs, we're not going to be using them for inputs, so it just helps to prepare it, so R, G, and B. Then over here, we want to just go through the LEDs, turning them on and off. So we want to say digital right R high. In other words, turn it on. And we want a delay of, I don't know, let's say 500 milliseconds. Then we want to turn it off or set it low. So that turns the R pin on and off, and then we need to copy it for G, which is green, R, G, and then B, which is blue, Control and T just to tidy that up, and then that's it. So let's uh, upload, and we should be good to go. Alright, and um, when you come back to your Arduino, you should see something that looks like this, almost like a disco light thing. Yeah. Anyway, so that's a little bit about LEDs, uh, how they work, a little bit about uh, resistors and why you need them, how to wire it up, and finally how to code it. So hopefully this video was interesting, and as usual, thanks for watching. Bye.